That's good quick feet. Miller with a shot. Wasn't that far away, you know. Tom Naylor letting fly. Scored against Tranmere earlier on this campaign. Certainly got a hold of it. Curtis to move it to Marquis, is it going to be? And here's Marquis with a hit straight into the wall, ricochets up into the air, and then Brad Collins comes and claims. Comfortable for the keeper under no real pressure. Sprinkling sheet in his previous 12 appearances in the championship. Brown spells at Forest Green and Burton when he was Sir Chelsea. Now then, here's an opportunity that uh, nearly fell Portsmouth's way. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's have another look at this. Strikes Marquis, could have gone anywhere, and it spins just, just wide. Thomas. Marquis wins it back, forward by Naylor. Curtis is on the move here. Williams is calling for it. It's still Curtis, wants to take one on early. Collins makes the save. Found himself in space after Portsmouth won it back. Cavalry were arriving as he pulled the trigger. This is Curtis again. Seddon's won it back. Portsmouth coming forward. This is Cannon. The fans want him to shoot. Will he oblige? Still Cannon. Now it's with Close on his right side. Finds the corner. Ben Close with an excellent shot. Precision into the corner. Struck with some venom as well. And it's the Pompey Chimes that will ring out at Fratton Park. Somehow kept in play. It's a close to battles. Referee and assistant see nothing wrong with that. And it comes towards Curtis. It's an awkward bounce. Can he take you down? Curtis! Excellent save! Just wide in the end, terrific stop from Brad Collins. Brilliant turn from Ronan Curtis. Pulled in towards the far post, they're queuing up here and they do get another. Curtis this time bundled home on the stroke of half time. Well, it's Curtis with a header, but Marquis, who's the real poacher as we know, this angle will tell us. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Turns away from Ritzmeyer, still going forward, does get the cross in, it's towards Curtis, it's an awkward slugging header, and Marquis was there, this time he couldn't finish. Curtis may be caught in two minds as he tried to nod towards goal, or maybe down towards Marquis, whose touch let him down. Woodrow from distance, good hit, oh yes! How about that? Barnsley are back in this, in spectacular fashion. None of this tight stick attacker that has been hit with real venom from distance and from absolutely nothing. Barnsley are back in this FA Cup tie. Chaplin. Barnsley with their tails up all of a sudden. Woodrow's inside the area, so is Mode. It's low. It's Brown with the shot. Oh, that should have been 2 2. Big, big chance for Barnsley and Jacob Brown. And he's put it wide. Barnsley, who was so close to levelling the score. Angewal at the other end, this is Curtis, he could be in! He is in! Just when it nearly went 2-2, there is a two-goal advantage once again, courtesy of Ronan Curtis, feeding off scraps here, in off the post. Brad Collins can't believe it, and he'll claim this one all right. Marquis got the second of the game for Portsmouth, but this is all Ron Curtis's work. Still plenty of movement and hustle and bustle inside the area. It's swung in again. Keepers missed this one, but Burgess hasn't. Burgess round the back. To not home from close range. Brilliant ball. Set him with real quality. Burgess rising highest of all.
to grab Portsmouth's fourth. Moen, still Barnsley to their credit, looking to get players inside the penalty area. Three waiting for the delivery. Oh, and the header from Brown, and the follow up does go in. Chaplin scores against his former employers. And with the header that was brilliantly saved by Bass, and the follow up from Chaplin gives the Tykes a second. Portsmouth lead by four goals to two.